Hey everybody, welcome back to Zyra Yoga. I'm Kayla and today we're going to be doing a pretty quick flow through some Warrior Two postures or movements for Warrior Two uh, and a little bit of balancing. So it's not going to be a really long class. If you want to listen to what I'm listening to, I think it's 23 November 2021 on my Spotify. And before we get started, if you don't mind just like hitting like or leaving a comment to let me know you were here. Uh, it's really helpful. I know that it's like annoying to hear everyone say it all the time, but it really does help. And yeah, so we're gonna start in a child's pose. So facing the right side of your mat, having the long edge of your mat face whatever you're watching me on if you can. And then just sitting yourself back into a child's pose. If you hate child's pose, you don't have to. You can stay up on all fours. We're not gonna be here for a long time. We're just taking a few breaths to kind of settle yourself in. See how everything's feeling in your body. And then as always, just kind of finding spaces that maybe are a little bit extra tense. If it's tension that can be released, see if you can consciously release that tension for a few breaths. If it's tension or tightness or soreness or an injury, I just want you to bring that into your mind. Remind yourself that it exists and to change the movements so that they feel good for you. I'll give some variations uh, to some of the postures but ultimately you're the one that can feel it. I can't even see you, so make the movements feel good for you. You can skip whatever you want or do a different posture if it feels better for you. So a couple of long breaths here. And then when you're ready for it, we're just gonna start to shift from child's pose up towards like a kneeling plank. So shifting all the way up, coming forward, maybe bring the hips down, the shoulders in front of the wrists slightly, and then slide yourself back. And we'll just do that a few times. And then as you're moving here, if it feels good, you can start to add like a chaturanga in it, or maybe just like a tricep push-up. So coming down and pressing back up and all the way back. Just getting some kind of engagement through those upper body muscles. And we'll do a few more times like that. You can always keep yourself up a little bit higher if you still want to do kind of that tricep thing with the booty higher so that it's not as intense. And then we're going to take one more time. And this time as you come back, tucking the toes, find downward facing dog. So if it feels better to take down dog on the knees or to stay on all fours, go for it. Just pedaling the legs a few times. And then we're gonna just walk our hands back to our feet. So coming towards the back of the mat, keep the knees bent a lot. Let your belly and thighs connect. Maybe grab opposite elbows and hang for a moment. I like to keep the weight into my toes. Hands onto your shins, just lengthen up part way. Roll your shoulders back, maybe send the inner thighs back. And then as you exhale, we're gonna fold down, walk yourself out, coming in towards a plank or a kneeling plank, or you can cat and cow if you prefer. If you're taking your plank all the way down this time, rolling the shoulders back, finding cobra. And then lowering back down, we'll press through all fours and then into downward facing dog. And then we're gonna do just that same thing one more time. So maybe keeping your legs a little bit straighter this time as you walk your hands back to get a little bit more stretch through the backs of the legs. So if it feels better just to keep them bent and hang here, you can. Hands onto the shins, we'll lengthen halfway, get long through the breath. Exhale to fold down. Walking yourself back out. So again, plank or kneeling plank. Maybe a cat and cow, we'll lower down. Maybe up dog feels good, making sure the thighs are off the ground and we're kind of pressing forward with the chest. And then maybe through all fours or you can send the hips up through plank, back to downward facing. When you're ready, we're gonna come down onto our knees. Right leg is gonna come up first, just draw a couple of circles.
Bring in the opposite direction when you're ready. And then closing that knee down, shifting the weight, coming to the other side. So lifting up and drawing those circles. Opposite direction when you're ready. And then finding your way back through center, a nice tabletop, just maybe taking a few cats and cows, making it as dramatic as you like. So I like to kind of like rock my hips back when I take cat pose to really round and then roll myself forward into cow. But if just a little bit of movement feels better for you, stay with that. And then we'll find our way back through center, tuck your toes, hips up and back, fighting down dog. Bringing your gaze to the top of your mat. You can jump if you want, or just walking your feet up into a forward fold, hands onto the shins, nice long deep breath. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up, reaching tall. Deep breath in, we're gonna shift the weight over into our right leg, take the left knee out to the side. As you exhale, bring that leg back down, find yourself into a fold. Same thing again. So inhale to roll all the way up, shift the weight to the right leg. Left knee is going to open. All the way back down. Twice more like that. So rolling all the way up, putting the weight to your right leg. Left knee is going to come up and out to the side. And all the way back down. Last time, rolling all the way up, weight into the right leg. Left knee is out to the side and we'll find warrior two from here. So stepping this foot all the way back. See if you can kind of take your inner thigh of your back leg and open it, pressing the right knee out if it feels okay. And then we're gonna do a little flow here. So you're gonna inhale, maybe lift the heel, lifting the arms. Exhale to come back down with the heel. Inhale, straighten out through the legs. Exhale, back to warrior two. Same thing again, inhale, front heel up. Exhale it down. Inhale, straight front leg. Exhale, back into warrior two. One more time, inhale, front heel up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Last time, inhale, heel up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straight leg. Exhale, warrior two. This time, inhale, open up to the long edge. Exhale, find goddess. So if it feels all right, see if you can squeeze your shoulder blades back. Maybe you can sink a little bit deeper. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, maybe out through the mouth. Inhale in. On our exhale, you're going to turn to the left side of your mat. Hands down to the floor, step yourself back, and take a vinyasa if you like. So elbows hugging against you as you lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And back to downward facing, holding here. Just taking a moment, catching your breath. Child's pose if you prefer, or down dog on the knees. And then looking forward, stepping, hopping, jumping, walking, maybe a handstand up to the top of the mat, finding that flat back and halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Just like before, we're going to roll up, weight to the left leg, right knee is going to come up and open, and then come all the way back down. Same thing three more times. So rolling up, right knee out and open, all the way back down. Twice more, roll it up. Right knee out and open. All the way back down. And then last time, roll it up. Right knee out and open. And we'll step back to warrior two. So bring yourself here. See if you can bring your right hip. Just open a little bit more. And then we're going to do that same flow. So when it feels good, lifting the arms. Front heel might come up. Exhale back down with the heel. Inhale to straighten the arms. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, heel lift. Exhale, warrior. Inhale, straight leg. Exhale, warrior. Twice more. Heel lift. Warrior. Straight leg. Warrior. Last time. Heel lift. Warrior. Straight leg. Warrior. Inhale, up. Lengthening out. Turn the toes to the corners of your mat. Sinking back into goddess. See if you can squeeze your upper back. Long breath in. Maybe an exhale out through the mouth. Turning yourself back 
towards the right side of your mat, stepping back. Maybe taking your weight through Chaturanga, Up Dog Cobra, if it feels good, just a cat and cow. And then finding through center, tuck the toes, downward facing. Holding here. When it feels good for you, looking forward, we're going to walk our feet up to the top of our mat. Lifting up halfway, get long through your spine. Exhale to fold. Bend your knees, sweep your arms. Come to chair. So we're going to do kind of the same thing, but we're going to add on to it a little bit. So if you want to do the same movements that we did before, you can. So you can stay with straight legs. When we get to warrior, you can stay in that warrior flow. If you want to take it up a notch and add some balance, we're going to put the weight into our right leg. Left knee is going to come up, and then you're going to lean forward and maybe open the hip, bringing the heel towards the booty, and then we'll bring ourselves back into chair. So it's like a bent leg half moon pose. So bringing the leg up, maybe dipping forward, you might have a block or a chair that you can put your leg on, or your hand on, back into chair. Two more times. So up, and then out, and then back up into chair last time so bring it up and out then setting the leg back this time if it feels okay lengthen your leg out finding half moon maybe you can open the chest and then the back foot's going to float down into warrior two so this time same thing as before except instead of that straight leg we're going to find half moon pose okay so you can do straight that straight leg again if you want so we'll take a nice deep breath Front heel's gonna lift. Exhale back down at the heel. Maybe half moon. And then exhale back down into warrior. So instead of half moon, you can just straighten the front leg. So three more times like that. Front heel lift. Come back to warrior two. Shifting, maybe half moon. Back to warrior two. Twice more. Inhale, heel lift. Exhale down. Inhale, warrior, or er, half moon. Exhale. Warrior two, last time. Heel lift, arms out, half moon, take it down. We'll lengthen up into center. Exhale, finding your way through goddess. This time, hands back behind you, opening nice and big. If it feels all right, maybe pivoting the toes forward and finding a fold. Let your head drop. Your arms might be able to reach away from you, maybe not. On your exhale, go ahead and release. Lifting yourself halfway, and then head over to the left side of your mat, stepping back. Again, you can take a chaturanga on the toes, on the knees, you can take cat and cow, and we'll meet back in downward facing. Take a few breaths here, child's pose if you prefer. When it feels good for you, looking forward, walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Hands onto the shins, lengthening, lengthening halfway. As you exhale, fold. Bend your knees deep, sweep your arms, back into chair. So same thing again. You can do the first version that we did, or you can do this more challenging version. So all the way to the left leg, right knee's gonna come up, and then we'll send it back. So coming towards like a half moon, but with a bent leg, and then close yourself back into chair. Same thing again, up and out, and then forward, maybe half moon, back to chair, two more times, forward and out, taking it back, back to chair, one last time, bringing it up and out, shifting forward, this time if it feels good, lengthening that leg straight, finding half moon, maybe you can rotate your chest open, and we'll float into warrior two. So back foot's gonna come down, find your warrior two, set it up. And then again, I'm not trying to be so repetitive with my um, speech, but if you don't wanna take half moon, you can just take that straight leg like we did in the first round, okay? So when you're ready, deep breath in, front heel up, exhale down, find your way through half moon, back to warrior two, three more times. So heel up and down, half moon, 
and then back to warrior two. Twice more. Heel up and down, half moon. Back to your warrior last time. Heel up, back down, half moon. Taking it back to your warrior. Inhale to reach up, finding goddess. Hands back behind you, clasping, open the chest. And then when you're ready, pivoting the feet around, straightening the legs and sinking into your fold. Whew. On your next exhale, releasing the hands down, we'll lift halfway. Deep breath. As you exhale, heading towards the right side of the mat, planting your hands, step back. Vinyasa if you want, so whatever version feels good for you. Taking a few breaths here, pedaling the legs. And then from here this time, we're gonna reach our right leg up nice and high. Maybe bend the knee and open the hip up for a moment. And then you're going to step the foot, your foot, your right foot, outside of your right hand. So bring it all the way forward, bringing it down, just holding in like a lizard lunge, back knees on the floor. And then if your back toes are tucked like mine, we're going to untuck them. And we're going to bring the foot back behind us a little bit, shifting yourself up, coming into a kneeling warrior two. So see if you can shift a little bit deeper. And then we'll do a little flow here. So when it feels good, we're going to inhale up. As you exhale, sink down. Maybe you can come all the way forward. Inhale up. Exhale, you're going to bring the left hand down, finding a kneeling half moon. So foot can stay on the ground if you prefer. Then you'll turn your toes back up to the ceiling, bringing the foot back down, coming back here. So inhaling up, exhaling, maybe dipping to tap. Inhaling up, taking the back hand. Down, finding that kneeling half moon, taking the foot back to center, coming back to warrior two. One more, no, two more times. So reaching up as you exhale, coming down, inhaling up, exhaling over to the other side, lifting that leg, taking the toes back down, warrior two. Last time, sinking out, not sinking out, lifting out, exhaling, sinking deep, inhaling up, Exhaling over to the other side, we're gonna hold. And then you have some options here. So our floating leg is your right one. You're gonna take it down to the ground. You can stay like this, or if it feels okay, put some weight into that right foot and maybe you can slide the left foot back for a side plank. Couple of long breaths here. Bottom knee can come back down anytime you need it to. And then we'll take our top hand down to the floor. We're facing the left side of the mat, finding your way through a vinyasa and to downward facing dog. So we just have the other side and then we're all done with the challenging stuff and we'll just sit and stretch a bit. So when it feels good for you, left leg's gonna lift, taking it up high, maybe bending the knee and opening the hips for a moment. Try to send that knee up towards the ceiling. And then just like on the other side, your left foot's gonna step outside of your right hand. Just looking forward, step it up. You can come up through all fours if you need. Keeping the toes tucked under if it feels good. Just holding here in this lizard lunge, trying to reach the chest forward, maybe squeeze the glutes on your back leg. And then when you're ready, if your toes are tucked, we'll untuck them. We're going to pivot that foot behind us a little bit, walking ourselves up and adjust so you're in this kneeling warrior two. Same thing as before. So we're going to sink in a little bit deeper to start, and then we'll lift out, sink in, maybe tap, lift out, right hand to the floor, left leg lifting, turn your toes back towards the ceiling, bending the knee, coming back to that warrior. Lifting up sinking in, lifting up, finding your way into that kneeling half moon, bring yourself back up, exhale back in, inhale up, sink into that warrior, inhale up, 
exhale to the other side. I started thinking about something else, so I don't remember how many we've done, so we're going to do one more. Hopefully it's the same number we did on the other side. So we're going to sink in, come up, backhand to the floor, finding that half moon, opening the chest. And then just like on the other side, if it feels okay for you, you'll bring the foot down. We're going to put some weight into it. So you're shifting weight back to your foot, putting weight into the hand like you're pressing the floor away, and maybe the bottom leg can slide back, finding side plank. Knee can come down if you need to. And just breathe here. When you're ready, closing up. One last chaturanga if you're taking it. Up dog or cobra, find your way back to downward facing, and then down onto the knees. Slide the hips back, child's pose if you like. You can come to seated if you don't. Mm. Taking a few long inhales and exhales. And then as you're ready for it, just walking your hands back towards your knees. If it's uncomfortable to stay on your knees, you can skip this and just come to seated soles, the feet together, knees out. If it's okay to be sitting on your heels like this for your knees, we're going to bring the knees wide, hands behind you, just tuck your tail forward and see if you can sink back. It'll give you a little bit of a stretch on the quads. You can open the chest up while you're here. So this playlist that I'm listening to, if you're listening to it too, is longer than this class is going to be. So if you want to, you can skip ahead, start to find some slower songs. And then we'll bring ourselves up. Everybody coming over to seated. Soles of the feet together, knees out. Grabbing hold of the legs to see how it feels to kind of lengthen through the spine, maybe leaning back a little bit. If it feels good, you're going to take your right leg out. We'll just turn ourselves towards the right leg, left sole of the foot's on the inside of the right leg. Get long and just fold forward to wherever it feels good. So finding a stretch without it being painful and without having to round in your back. Because rounding in your back is going to take the stretch out of your leg. So we're trying to lengthen and lean. Taking really long breaths if it feels good. And then bringing yourself back up. We're going to reach up nice and tall with our right arm and then just take it across the left knee. Left hand can come behind you, rolling the shoulders back, finding a twist. I like this version of a twist with the knee open because it gives more space for my body to find the twist rather than having the knee up. If you prefer the knee up, you can bring the knee up and give it a hug. And then when you're ready, back through center, extending out through the left leg, right foot will come in. We'll do the same thing on the other side, maybe moving your flesh to adjust. So just turning towards your straight leg, get long through the body, and pull yourself forward, finding your fold. Again, trying to keep the chest reaching, because if you round, it's going to take that stretch away from the leg. On your next inhale, bring yourself back up. Same as on the other side, so left arm's gonna lift up, and you'll take it across to your right knee. Right hand's gonna come behind you, finding your twist. Just like on the other side, if you prefer the knee up twist more traditional style, you can take that.
when you're ready for it. Just unwind it. Both legs out in front of you, and then we're going to scoot our hips towards our heels, hands next to your sides. Fingertips can po point towards your hips if you want that stretch through your wrists, but you can turn them back if it feels better for you. And we're just going to start by rolling the shoulders back, opening up through the chest, and then if you want to, you can press into the heels and lift the hips. Nice long deep breath here, just stretching the fronts of our shoulders, maybe down the arms a bit. And then when you exhale, see if you can bring the hips really far forward as you lower, using the arms to help. Just roll on down to your back. Lengthening the arms up over the head if it feels good, and then just make whatever movements you like. So I like to just windscreen wiper my legs side to side a few times. So again, if you want to skip forward on the playlist, I think there is eventually like a ambient sound kind of music happening. And then whenever it feels good for you, you can lengthen your legs out. I like to just drop my knees in and just find yourself into a position that's comfortable for you to relax. So this was a really kind of um, energetic practice. So if you went through it and you're feeling like really energetic, maybe just staying here for a minute and taking a couple of long breaths and kind of centering yourself. If you're like feeling really wiped from it, you can stay here for as long as you want. You can even take a nap right now if that feels good for you. Um, I'm going to leave you here in your Shavasana. Um, if you don't mind, if you liked this, again, commenting, liking, maybe sharing it. You can share it on whatever platform that you use or just sending it to a friend in an email. I would really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so again, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll leave you to just relax here for a moment or maybe an hour. And I'll see you next month.